Hi guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back. Um, today is going to be a little different. I'm going to bring you guys along with me as I do a pet portrait. And this is not going to be like the ones that you see on my Instagram. Those are really detailed and they take me between 10 and 12 hours and I don't have that much memory on my phone or my computer. So I'm going to make a smaller, less detailed version of my cat Pearl um, and then just kind of take you along with me. And it's not going to really be a tutorial. I'm not super good at teaching things. And a lot of these things are kind of just coming back to me as I do them. Um, you guys know I have ADHD, so I don't remember a lot especially from you know back in the day so I did take classes in elementary school after school with one of my favorite art teachers for several years um, and then I went to college for art for two years before I changed my major which was a terrible decision but um yeah so we're gonna paint a picture I hope you guys enjoy it all right guys so this canvas is 10 inches across in diameter. This picture itself is eight inches, but I'm just wanting to kind of isolate her face. I just want this to be mostly Pearl's face. So I eyeballed this and I think if I double it in size that it's gonna look right here. So what I'm gonna do is you can see my tick marks right here. This is half inch marks. I'm gonna create a grid and then in this piece right here, this canvas, I'm going to do one inch mark. So what that's going to do is it's going to double this in size when I sketch it from there to there. And that just keeps things accurate. This is a very common thing that artists do. A lot of people think it's cheating, but it's not. It's very common. It just keeps your proportions right. You do have to use math. I'm not very good at math, but I'm good at this kind of math because it's got a practical application. All right, so this is very boring. I'm gonna pause this and finish it and then we'll get back to the actual painting. Hope you guys don't get bored. All right, so we've got our grid on Pearl every half inch. Now we're gonna put the grid on the circle. Now circles are harder than rectangles with this. Um, a little messy but that's okay so we know that this is supposed to be a 10 by 10 circle so just get your ruler where it's exactly 10 inches and you'll know that's your center you know if it's a little bit off then that means it's not your center so make sure it's just exactly 10 inches um, and then what we're gonna do for this I'm gonna mark it in this middle and then I'm gonna move it up just a hair we're trying to get a grid so it's gonna be a little bit difficult but a little bit of it involves eyeballing. I know that makes some people nervous, but it's one of the only skills I have. So just hold it steady. Move it down a little. So now that I have my numbers laid down where I want her oriented, I'm just going to take the general outline of her and put it on the canvas using the numbers to coordinate it. And she's going to help. general outline of little pearl um, and what we're gonna do is I work from back to front so we're gonna lay down the background um, and then we're gonna work on her because it's a lot easier especially with whiskers to put your background down first 
and you can just paint the whiskers over it. So I'm gonna go get some paints and uh, we'll get started. So we are moving on to the foreground. Uh, the background colors I just selected based on what I felt like Pearl's Aura is like. For clients, I let them kind of pick some colors and patterns they like just based on their decor and personal preference and how they feel the animal needs to look. Um, but yeah, so that part is done. Now we're going to move on to the foreground. Now I usually start with the eyes and there's no other reason other than that it's really disturbing to paint everything except for the eyes first. It used to be I started with the fur and everything and it's just like a hollow eye socket staring at you and it's super creepy. So I'm going to start with Pearl's little eyeball and then kind of work my way out. Then I go to the darks and then I go to the whites and do all the highlights. Um, usually with most critters, their fur is dark and then they have white highlights like little gray hairs or whiskers, things like that. So I just start that for practical purposes. Sometimes I start with the light and then move to the dark and then back to the light. It just depends on the animal and their coat. So in this case, we're going to start with her eyeballs and then we're going to do the dark features and then move on to her little white spots. So here we go. All right. So... I have a picture here of her, and I also have it on my computer screen, which you guys can't see. I have it kind of blown up. Sorry, you have to see the top of my head. Um, but yeah, so I kind of just refer to either I make a second copy, I print another copy, or I have it on my phone, tablet, or computer, and I kind of just refer back and forth to the digital copy for colors and things like that. So looks like I need to go get some green because I'm going to mix it with this Turner's yellow to make her little eyeballs. So I will be right back. All right. So Pearl's eyes are a green with a little yellow, which I already have poured out if it's not dried up. And I'm going to mix a little white. And then she's got a little blob of brown in the one that you can see for this painting. I'm going to use a teeny tiny paintbrush. I'll use my liner. Actually, I'm going to mix it first. And I'll use this one for mixing. So, sometimes I'll mix it up and even hold it up to the picture or a computer screen just to kind of make sure I'm headed in the right direction. So that part's done. Now 
We're gonna do around the eye and just kind of work our way out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a base brown and then I'm gonna go back and do highlights and shadows and stripes on top of the base um, brown kind of chestnut color. What are you doing up here? Don't do that. Oh, big yawn. All right, Mama's gonna finish painting.
Do you think that looks like you? Do you like it? Oh, it's not. All right, you guys, it is finished. There's Little Miss Pearl. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and that it wasn't too boring. And I hope that I don't blow my computer up trying to get this on YouTube. Um, thanks again for watching and uh, be bright and do right.